Welcome to this episode of the Million Dollar Mastermind. I'm Larry Wydell, and let's get started. I'm back with Ace Lane, and hopefully when you come to Aspen, you'll get down to Willits and take a tour of his new development down there. It will inspire you to greatness and uh you know, I'll, you don't know this, Ace, but I've, I know a lot of motivated gung-ho people down in that area, and that's the place they say they want to be living once you get further along and you start getting, getting things finished. And so you've attracted uh, the attention and energy of, it's just going to be a powder keg uh, location to live in, and... Uh, that has to do with you. And so, welcome back. Uh, thank you for that awesome introduction. And Appreciate it. You know, when you talk about character, uh, what is that really? What, what, you know, that's, you know, that's like a Boy Scout pledge type thing uh, is, is one of the search terms. What does it mean when you say character? You're looking at people. How do you evaluate people on the basis of character? Well, I, um, a big one for me is if they have a sense of honor, if they're honorable in their dealings with how they have, how they live their life, how they, how, what that looks like. So I feel like if people are honorable, that's a, to me, that's a giant part of character. When you get and to know people, it, what's a giveaway for you on, are they in or out on that subject? Uh, maybe that's a great question. You know, that's kind of a feel question. So I got to put that into words. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, um, well, I did say we're going to talk about things you don't ordinarily talk about. <laughs> right, right. So putting honor in. Well, that's the, you, but put, by the way, Ace, that's the, that, that's the value of these things is because people need to know because you do know what you're talking about when you say character and the, the, any insight or light you can shed on that where other people can pick up because a lot of people are easily conned and they, uh, if they're successful, they'll rise up into bigger and bigger positions of responsibility where, uh, if they get conned by somebody, uh, the, you know, the, the damage can be a whole lot bigger than if it's just themselves. And so, you know, these are things you need to develop your radar for and be on the lookout for and notice don't just kind of tippy toe through life and take everything at sur surface values like look beneath the surface and i i think that's what you're talking about now oh uh, yeah no i i am so i guess i i try to as much as i can uh get a feel for you know is this individual um what in our interview or how we get so I should back up a little bit. So when I interview people for bigger positions in my little company, um, it's, it's not like a one hour organized interview. It's like, okay, we're going to Moab for th three days and we're going to ride our mountain bikes and I'm going to watch how you interact with your kids. And if you have kids or with us or other teammates, what you notice about them, what makes you happy, what makes you what makes you smile at somebody or what makes you go like, Oh, why'd they do, do that? So I, I try to take the interview process to a whole another level. And that process has worked really well for me. Uh, the one hour interview, um, uh, a lot of people are very good at, you know, bringing in a, an awesome resume and it probably is awesome, but it might not be what's going to work for, how I operate. Um, so that longer process, I get to see more like, I, do they, if we're, well, if we're water skiing, do... And basically if you take them to Moab, you know, in either getting there or while you're there or while you're out, things are going to go wrong and you get a chance to see how they behave and they react when things don't go exactly perfect. Would you say that's part of it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, one guy, we took him off to Moab. This is a bummer, but 
um, he he broke his arm. We had to hike out. Like, oh no! Five five or six miles, and he was awesome about it. Just awesome. And um, he's got huge character. And um, you know, so and you know, I've been interviewing. You know, we've been talking about working together for for quite a while, and this is sort of the final process was spending three days in Moab with he and his son and my boys and um yeah you you get to see a lot of some somebody you know do they help somebody up how they act are they courageous and how they pursue things are they risk takers um uh, there's just there's so many things um do they are they supportive of of other people do they see the goodness in other people and celebrate that or are they trying to make you see all the greatness in them? Um, so those are, I don't know, is that helpful? Did yeah, I... yeah, that's, yeah, because you find, you know, you know, when you turn them upside down, you can see what comes out first, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. And one thing I've noticed, you know, uh, this is just one of my perversities, is I found that people cannot laugh at themselves. They're probably losers. And uh, I don't care. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, yeah. there's something that's got the laugh at myself knob turned off. <laughs> yeah, no, you got it. And, you know, I've had people like, you know, in the business or whatever, nice people. You know, I'm not talking about not fun people, but like, you know, you go and you get invited and you, you, you wind up being at conventions together or eat dinner together and think, oh, you know, this is one of my friends. And then you actually spend some time with them, and it's like, you know, it's just not much fun spending time with them. Why is it? And then it comes on, this guy never laughs. <laughs> and, he really, right, right. and he really never laughs at himself. <laughs> right. And it's like, yeah, no. you know, it's like, you know what? I'm just not going to not. It's not like I'm going to avoid the guy, because, he, you know, it's, I, I'm probably being too harsh. But it's like, Part of being fun is being able to laugh and, first of all, laugh at yourself. You know, like the Apostle Paul in the New Testament says, the only thing I'm going to boast about is uh, uh, my failings, you know. And, uh, you know. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> you know, because, let's face it, we all have plenty of them. And uh, uh, if you're not going to laugh at yourself, you're taking yourself a little bit too seriously. And... Uh, getting ready to stub your toe. In fact, I did a, uh, like two or three podcasts ago. I, I was so fantastic, unbelievable, this lady that uh, I've known for years, but I didn't know really how great she was. And then I finished the, I finished the podcast with a flourish, which was me knocking over my full glass of water all over and drenching the desk and ruining my notes. <laughs> Right, right, yeah, we've big, all done that. A big spastic move for my finale, you know. Thank And uh, thank goodness I wasn't in front of a crowd. But, you know, the thing is we're all capable of stupid ideas, stupid comments, and getting ourselves in stupid situations. But uh, so what? You know, the thing is what do you do with the rest yeah. of your time? What do you do after that? You know, that's the whole thing. And so right. you, you know, you know, if we're talking – uh, about evaluating people, you know, like we had talked earlier and you had told me, you know, it's basically, it's not like what, it doesn't really matter what were the formative events in a person's life, you know, when it comes to being in business with them, being in a startup, being a friend, it's like, uh, it doesn't really matter how severe or whatever they overcame or if they did have any big tragedies over what what matters is who are they who are they now how are they going to behave yeah. like people say how do i overcome fear of failure is like well you want to win more than you want <laughs> you're more concerned about winning than you are about failing and so that's basically what uh uh you know if you're more worried about failing you're not going to get off the couch uh if you are more concerned about winning you're going to get off the couch and go go start doing the things that'll get you back winning and people like us we just can't tolerate losing you know i'm sorry but uh you know I'm, i may be annoying uh 
but I'm just not going to get beat. I'm just not, you know, somebody, I'm not going to let somebody else decide or some event or some situation decide that I'm out of the game now forever. And like you said, when you finally got the courage to get back on the field, even in high school, not even knowing if you ever could, first year was awful, but the second year was awesome. And that was an important lesson for you to learn early in your career too, don't you think? Oh, yeah. No, it, it, I just, you know, the feeling of going in, to the locker room when things were horrible for for me. I mean, on a variety of levels, um, and then to take the summer and think things through about how to do it better, but also, I, I, the only thing I can come up with is to dig deep and to and to charge in a way that you know that I could demonstrate. Um, obviously, I wasn't thinking about it like the way I am now because right. I can but look was, back on, on, on it. It was, ha- it was, it just was happening of- anyway, you know. And I think that I need to uh, make this point to people listening right now. is like, think about this when you're around kids. Uh, they're not like little dumbbells. I mean, they're going through these things in their mind, you know. They want to be accepted. They need encouragement. They need perspective. Uh, the the uh, positive encouraging attention from an adult who takes them seriously and gives them some positive direction can be life-changing, especially if they're going through tough times, you know, to make sure that, you know, it, the youngsters don't get overwhelmed because, you know, let's, let's face it, uh, suicide is one of the biggest killers of uh, young people and they just lose hope. So if any, if nothing else, uh, Ace, we can be the ones who get them to laugh at themselves, give them some hope, tell them some success stories, point out things they're doing right, give them reasons to feel better about themselves, because that may be something they uh, hang on to that allow them to make a better decision about their lives uh, when they... Uh, you know, have run into some tough situations. And that's the thing that we want people to get out of this thing. Get the lessons. You know, it's like Nick Saban says, you know, uh, don't get beat without getting the lesson. You know, don't get beat for nothing. You know, if you get beat, learn the lesson from that so you can make adjustments in your life and never get beaten on that particular thing uh, ever again, or is hi- make it highly unlikely that you'll fall, you know, make those same mistakes. And so that's the way you kind of build your own skill set and ability. Uh, and we call that experience. And experience is not always positive, but it's all adds up as long as you go. So uh, thanks so much, Ace. This has been a whole lot of fun. I feel bad for keeping you so long. And I thank you for uh, being so generous with your time. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on the mountain skiing this year. Yeah, well, thank you for all your thoughtful comments. And I certainly appreciate it. And being on your show, it means, it means a lot to me. Hopefully uh, we will check in down the road and uh, uh, be able to hear about some crazy new developments uh, happening in the project, in some of your other startups. And with your kids, you know, because your life is rolling right now and positive things are happening. And in the process, uh, you're learning, too. And so it's going to be fun to check back in with you down the road and, and hear about those things. So thanks so much, Ace. Thank you. I look forward to it. Thanks for listening to this episode of Million Dollar Mastermind with me, Larry Wydell. If I've helped you in any way, leave us a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts. For more information like this, listen to our other Million Dollar Mastermind episodes and check out my Wydell Academy YouTube channel and visit us on WydellOnWinning.com. 
I'm the Million Dollar Mastermind, and until next time, go, go, go.